Well, the DA has laid formal charges against Defence Minister Mapisa Ngagula for allegedly smuggling a Burundian woman into South Africa. The Democratic Alliance alleges that the woman was the minister's late son's alleged girlfriend and that the minister willfully floated Section 49 of the Immigration Act. The party says that the surrounding circumstances of the offence showed that Ngagula may have also broken a host of other laws. Mambisa Ngagula had earlier admitted to bringing the woman into the country, but had added that it was only to help her. In a statement, the defence minister had said that the woman came from abusive family and wanted to escape her from her father. The DA says that whilst the defense minister intentions may have been good, but breaking the law simply cannot be condoned. DA has also requested the public protect protector to investigate Ngagula for violating the member's executive ethics act. What we have done today is in terms of uh, lay a charge in terms of the immigration act, because we truly believe that a criminal offense has, has taken place when the minister decided, and she has confirmed that in a couple of uh, instances, where she has, um, against the law, um, negotiated for the release of a foreigner in a foreign country and then brought her into South Africa illegally without official documentation. She has said that uh, she is aware of that and that she will do it again. We believe that no one, no one from the ANC or the minister or whoever is above the law and what counts for them counts for us is that it seems like there are people who believe they are above the law and I think uh, President Zuma has set the example so far and we believe that all the laws are there in, in eventually in support of the Constitution and we know what President Zuma has done so far in terms of the constitutional requirements of his, of his office and himself. So whether they were aware of that or not is actually irrelevant because the minister has got a certain obligation. And obviously she must report back. And if those reports didn't go through to the executive and the president, then, then obviously that's another flaw in, on their side.